what is up youtube honestly it's very late and i should be asleep because i gotta be up like not too long later but i figure i need to make a leith video because um ep holder i got two copies and uh three artifacts in i think like not even a pity so i got pretty lucky this time but um yeah overall like i think you guys are gonna be really happy with this video uh, i did a bunch of arena testing um i had a shout out to jack who did some testing for pve um and we're going to be going over that in this video as well just so that we're kind of touching up on all the bases in terms of you know arena testing the build which artifact choices and um some other you know random facts about leith that maybe you'll find useful but if you guys do enjoy this type of video and just please like the video and comment for the algorithm because I'm gonna sleep like three hours so yeah let's go all right so this is gonna be the leith build that we're gonna be testing today in today's video all right we're gonna be running 300 speed 20k hp with her own artifact and i gotta say her artifact is cracked out of the wazoo okay you get 8.5 percent on just attacking you get another 8.5 percent when you proc three omen together that is just insane those multipliers are freaking nuts and a few other things that i want to actually leave on screen now is that number one s1ing your molagora does not increase your damage okay it will not increase the total attack damage with the additional attacks that's number one number two daydream joker is going to work with s1 in pve so if you use that for banshee if you use it for wyvern whatever the case may be it will work in pve um attack buff just regular attack buff is going to provide about 700 to 800 additional attack on her s1 for leith and as of right now torrent set does work with the additional damage however penetration set does not work with the additional damage on s1 and these are just some of the testing that my amazing friend jack from hotpot has been testing and letting me know so shout out to jack thank you very much my friend and without further ado, let's hop straight into the arena testing and just kind of go from there. Let you guys take a look. Alright, here we go. So we sold our S3. And the reason I actually have uh, aim it is so that I can potentially... Um, Learn your place. Uh, I have aim it because I want to push my... Um, what do you call it? Leaf down? Arguably think it maybe running like something like A-Lots could be better to just get 100% CR. Um, which maybe we should try doing that actually, now that, now that I think about it. Uh, I'm just gonna S3 here then I guess. This is gonna proc the Karina, but the Karina is, re is restricted, so we're not too worried about it. Never mind, it doesn't proc Karina. Why doesn't it proc Karina here if she's 50%? I'm so confused. Okay, well in this case, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and S3 the APOC. So I do want to see how much damage uh, we're going to be able to do with S1 on defense buff barrier arena. Mind you, this is going to definitely trigger the Lionheart Sermia. But for the sake of science, I, I, I don't mind. How much damage does this do? So... Wow, that still almost one shots the. That still almost one shots the. Um, wow, that almost one shots the Karina. That's still a lot of damage. So we get a uh, a proc, which I guess is cool. Yeah, so she's dead, but leaf damage is quite impressive. I mean, her S1 damage is scaled based on um, your total health, or your max health, so maybe this effectiveness build actually is the best. Anyway, we, we definitely lost this, I think, at this rate, but um, maybe we could try to clutch it back. The Restrict's coming in clutch. Oh yeah, we're dead. Unless we can somehow kill this... If we can kill this Lionheart, I'll be very impressed. What? 
Wait. This unit is broken. This unit is broken. This this unit is broken. For sure. Alright, let's soul burn S3. Get that woman stacks on the Aravi. And hand guy gets provoked too, eh? That's big. I do want to see how much damage she can do if death broken. That's one thing I'm quite curious about. Why don't we test that actually? Get a death break on the Aravi? Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Kill that off. Aravi's gonna S3. We can still see how much damage the S1 does through like a proof of valor or something. I think that will still be useful information. Oh, there's a death break. So, doesn't look like the death break helps. Yeah, so it's just fixed damage. So death break, it doesn't make a difference. Well, I mean, I mean, at least that's kind of fair. Because if you were death broken and she omen threes you, you just get, you just lose. So, not too bad. That's a pretty good test. Next one. Excuse me, I was sneezing. But this one, I want to test if we can hit the um, the Senya. Uh, this is why I don't record stuff at night, because my allergies are bad and I'm tired. We stun those two units. Uh, I guess we can S3. This is going to Justina hurt. is gonna full heal if I don't kill, so we're gonna have to try to go for a kill here. I never miss my target. Let's end this and see who falls. No escort, she should be dead. There we go. And I do wanna just see the leaf damage on the Senya here. Since we we can't crit on the, the Senya, so let's see. If we miss does it still do 15k fixed damage? You keep swarming. You'll only prolong the pain. Okay, so it does less damage. But there was Escort, so it actually doesn't. Wait, that's kind of busted. That is really, really busted. The fact that I, if you miss, you still do 15k fixed damage, that's kind of crazy. Uh, smile gate? Did we break the game with this one, or am I just tripping? May I help you? It hurts. You're giving me All right, so this airwell's dead. Such yeah, she's. I pulled my weight. She's very strong, guys. She's very strong. Alright, so for in this uh, instance, we're going to test attacking the uh, Sylvian Sage and the Tempest Surin. Because we want to see if the Omen is actually going to proc um, and just straight up kill the units. Um, so let's go ahead and try and test the T-Surin first. That's two Omen procs. And we're going to run another one with that buff here. Let's see if it kills the t and straight up. And it looks like it doesn't kill through the t -Surin. Okay, so that's good. That's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So it looks like the Omen cannot kill uh, those units um, that have like Spirit Eye Selene or Tempest Surin or Sylvian Sage Vivian. Um, it doesn't cut straight through, but we're going to test Sylvian Sage in this instance as well, um, just to make sure. 
but I think you know it's relatively fair that the damage kills at, on miss, I guess, relatively speaking. But um, and Jack, why do you have an L? Why does Jack have L burst on Arrowell? This guy's this guy's different. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna S one here, so he has Chatty. I'm just gonna throw an S one with the Omen here. And then we're just gonna S1 with the pen guy. Get our A lots down to S1. Sorry, I mean S2. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so here's the third Omen proc on the Sylvian Sage. <clears throat> Okay, so it kills Sylvian Sage, but it doesn't kill Tempest Surin. Interesting. Okay, well, on to our next test then. Alrighty guys, so there's just a few things I want to go over while closing out this video. So, number one, um, Frostbite does disable damage mitigation, so units like Sylvian Sage Vivian will get one shot by Leith if she has three stacks. Uh, number two, any HP percent um, threshold units like Tempest Surin, uh, Spirit Iseline, or Roy, where they can't go past a certain percentage HP, um, otherwise they're passive will proc, you cannot one-shot them even with three Omen stacks. And um, it's just, she's very, very strong. And number three, the last and final thing that's the most important, I think in my opinion, is at three Omen stacks, she will kill even on a miss. So if you miss on Aiden, it's still going to do like 14k, 15k, whatever damage that your build is going to provide. And throughout this video, I have mentioned that, oh, 15k fixed, 15k fixed. Her S1 uh, does not do 15k fixed damage. I want to clarify. It does 15k fixed damage based on my stats. So at 20k HP, I am doing... 15k fixed damage, so that's my reference. I'm not saying it works like a Rimuru where it's 15k, right? Just want to clarify that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. It's super, super late. So if you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like and comment below. And I hope this helped you out with understanding Leith and maybe getting some inspiration on how to build her and checking her out in Arena and things like that. But otherwise, I need to get to bed. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on stream. And we'll maybe make a video on the side story. So take care. Bye. I, I'm losing my voice. Goodbye. Good night.